Do you ever feel like your brain is a hamster wheel spinning out of control? You replay that conversation from church group or you're worried endlessly about the kids and you just can't seem to shut off that inner voice that whispers doubts in your ear. So today we're going to dive into God's word and some practical tips to stop overthinking everything and finally find that peace that we all crave. Hi, I'm Alana Palm, Christian Trauma Release and Mind Renewal Specialist, and I'm here to help you be able to really experience God at a new level. And when we do, we often get so much clarity and so much peace that we stop that over overthinking cycle that often just kind of goes through us like a hamster wheel I was saying earlier. So we juggle a lot, right, between family and church and work, our minds get overloaded with all sorts of things that we have to do, plus then just adding into the mix, we feel worried and anxious and all these other things come into our mind, right? Anybody? (laughs) But here's the thing. That constant overthinking is not from God, right? It's a lot of confusion and we know God is not the author of confusion. If you're anything like me, I have been such an overthinker. I am a very analytical person by nature, so I think through everything. And there is a point where my thinking goes awry and it is no longer God's best for me. I have worked really hard with him to rein that in and be able to focus solely on what he wants me to focus on so that I don't get stressed and overwhelmed. And that's what I want for you too, because that constant overthinking will bring us down, right? The problem with overthinking, if we think about Martha, right? In the Bible, in Luke 10, she was so busy worrying about the perfect meal for Jesus, making everything work out perfectly. I don't know about you, but I've had dinner parties before (laughs) and I have been so stressed. My husband, I remember years ago, was like, we're not gonna have any more dinner parties if you're gonna be this stressed. So I wasn't sitting at the feet of Jesus. I was so concerned about making everything perfect for the people coming over. And in Martha's case, she did the same thing and she just missed out on spending time with him. And we can be just like her, can't we? I'm guessing it's not just me, right? We get consumed by our thoughts and we forget the simple joy of being present in the moment with God, with the people we love. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 says, do not be anxious about anything. (laughs) You're like, yeah, right. Okay, how do I do that? But in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Sounds great, right? You've heard that verse. It's not just a feel good verse. It is actually something we can do. Science shows that chronic worrying weakens our immune system and actually lowers our energy where we will feel depleted and exhausted simply by worrying. So it is time to break free of this cycle. So here are five practical tips to stop overthinking. Number one, recognize when you're overthinking, right? The first step is always awareness and revelation. When you catch yourself replaying negative scenarios or dwelling on the past, just gently acknowledge it. Say a prayer like, Lord, help me focus on what's in front of me right now. Often I I step into ways of being with the Lord, like I choose to abide in him and I step into a way of being. A way of being I often choose is present so that I can be totally focused on what I'm doing and not get distracted. And when I focus on that and abide in him, I can actually stay very present. That's something I teach about in the five day experiencing God's love intensive that I run. It's a free five day intensive. So if you want to know more about that and challenge yourself with that, the link is below in the comments. Tip number two, challenge your thoughts. Not all thoughts are created equal. When a worry pops up, you can ask yourself, is this thought helpful? Is it based on reality? Often our anxieties are just distorted stories we tell ourselves based on our old trauma, old beliefs, right? So notice when it's not actually congruent with God's truth. Tip number three, breathe and be mindful, right? Come into this inner place and ground yourself in God. Sometimes the way to, to really relax a racing heart and mind is to simply breathe. We are living up in our heads a lot. We get to breathe deep in our abdomen taking deep breaths, letting your belly rise and fall, very slow, deep focused breaths. This can help you ground yourself. It's like an elevator shaft going down into the center of you. It gets you out of focusing in your head. We live from our heads so much, thinking, 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 right? This helps us relax our system. Tip number four, take action when you can. Are you worried about a specific situation and 
if there is something that you're worried about, right, what can you do? What action can you take? Worrying and worrying and worrying doesn't actually do anything. So we get to be proactive. And when we do this, it reduces our anxiety and gives us a sense of control, right, which we all want, but we have different forms of control. We have wanting to control others, control ourselves, control circumstances. What if we just practice peaceful control and said, what can I do, Lord, in this situation? Give me guidance here. It can be so helpful. Tip number five, give it to God and practice gratitude. I talk about gratitude a lot. Our mind can go well into all the things that aren't going the way we want in our lives, right? We don't have to carry all of this alone. When worries overwhelm you, you can surrender them to God. You can pray about his, your concerns. You can trust that he has a plan and you can be grateful for the things you do have. Focusing on the blessings in your life can shift your perspective and reduce negativity. Remember, you're not alone in this struggle. With God's help and these practical tips, you can break free from overthinking and find the peace you deserve. Remember, Philippians 4, 6 to 7 is a promise for you. So take a deep breath, release your anxiety to God, and choose to focus on the present moment. If you're struggling with overthinking and you want to learn more about how to achieve lasting peace, check out our resources in the description below, especially the Experiencing God's Love Intensive. You go to wakeupjoyful.com slash love. You can register. It's free, and I would love to support you in there. Don't forget, if you like this video, please click like, and you can even subscribe to my channel for more Christian encouragement. God bless you.